So what's the organizing scope of a tenant? How does a tenant relate to your organization? Well, I would say uh, when you have an organization, uh, you will maybe buy an Office 365 subscription. And uh, by doing that, you get a tenant. So, and you have email addresses which are for, for your organization. But so normally, your organization is one one with a tenant. But you might have uh, historically uh, some departments in your organization, in your company, which had their own uh, subscription, their own tenants, or also you can have an acquisition between companies. So it might be the case that you have several tenants for the same organization uh, globally. Uh, uh, in, in the context of the Microsoft Identity Platform, you, you would say you would map uh, one organization to one tenant. So if you are in this case where you have several tenants, uh, in that case, you might want to create applications which, which are multi-tenants and control that uh, the tenants where it's allowed to, to run are uh, the tenants of your organization.